All right. Welcome to your practice. This is the last one of our series together. Um, it has been really, really fun to um, meet you here virtually. So thank you all for being here. We're gonna get started on our back and we're gonna have the feet flat to the mat today. So as you come to the back body, when you lower yourself down onto your back, we're gonna heel toe the feet. So they're just slightly wider than your hips. And then the knees are gonna come to touch. And then I want you to just find the distance from your hips where you can maintain this position with very little effort. So it should feel like you've got a nice release happening in your lower back. And then your arms can either be alongside your body, hands below your heart, or they can be on your body. You choose belly, heart and belly, both on the heart, both on the ribs, kind of decide where you need some little extra love in the body today. And then once you settle into your Ardha Shavasana, and gently close down your eyes. Feel the breath flowing through the body effortlessly in and out through the nose. And when we breathe in and out through our nose, we start to calm the nervous system. We let the body know it's okay to relax and let go. Feel that ease come into the body. And then over the course of the next few moments here, I want you to just find three deep breaths in and out of the nose. And each exhale is just taking you a little bit further into the support beneath you. And then from this space, I want you to call on three things that you love about yourself. What are three things you love about yourself? Once you call those three things to mind, I want you to bring your hands to your heart. And once your hands are on your heart, I want you to send yourself love and gratitude here. Recognizing these beautiful things about yourself. And then for making this time for you on the mat today. Begin to heel toe your feet together. Draw your knees into your chest and take those arms and wrap them around your legs and roll up into a tiny little ball. Nose to knees and give the body a little rock side to side. Good, really nice. Gently let go. Feet return to your mat. 
This time we're gonna stretch the arms overhead, stretch out the legs nice and long, point it through your toes, take a full body inhale and stretch. And then exhale, sigh, let it go. Beautiful. Let's take the right knee into the chest. Give it a nice gentle squeeze, pulling it right in towards the right shoulder. And then here, let's spread the toes nice and wide on the right foot. Toes wide on the right foot. And then just roll out the ankle three times to the right. And then three times to the left. Keeping those toes nice and wide. Good. And then stretch that right leg up to the sky. Support your body however it needs. Good. And then from here, draw your toes towards your face. Bring a little bit of a bend into your leg. Reach out through the heel. And then point out through your toes, straighten. Bend into the knee, reach out through the heel. And then straighten and reach out through your toes. One more time. Bend the knee, reach out through the heel. And then straighten and reach out through the toes. Beautiful. Let that right leg just move down to your mat, nice and long beside your left. Good, maybe you feel just a slight difference in length between the right and left thigh. Let's balance out this energy, bringing left knee in, drawing it right in towards the left shoulder. Keeping that right heel grounded, spread the left toes wide, spread them apart. And then three circles to the right and three circles to the left, keeping those toes spread wide. Good, now stretch the left leg up to the sky, support however you need to. Keep those toes spread wide. And then a little bit of a micro bend into the knee, reach out through the heel. And then straighten the leg, point out through the toes. Good, bend the knee, reach out through the heel. And then straighten the leg, reach out through the toes. Awesome, last one, reach out through the heel and then reach it through the toes. Beautiful, gently release that left leg all the way down beside your right. And then stretch it super long in the body, reach overhead, breathe in for three, two, one, hold. And then exhale, side out. Really nice. All right, so we're gonna open up the arms nice and wide from the shoulders making a T position in the body. And then we're gonna slide the feet flat to the floor. All right, from here, we're going to take that right arm and we're going to connect it with the left hand. But first, let's lift up the hips, move them over to the right, settle them down, and then let your knees fall over to the left. So this will be the passive variation of this stretch coming into the twist, breathing here. Let the breath be nice and deep, low into the belly. And then we're going to take that right hand and then breathe in, come all the way up over the body, connect it with your left hand. And then take that right hand and then reach it all the way up and over, bringing the back of your hand back down to the floor. Good. And then coming all the way over the body like a rainbow, connecting with your left hand. Beautiful. And then coming all the way back up and over, Good, one more time. Over the body like a rainbow, connect, coming onto that left shoulder. Good, and then opening up nice and wide. Holding here, this time let's look to the right hand, stretching up through the neck and the cervical spine. Good, bring your head back to center. 
and then bring your legs back to center. Realign your spine back at the middle of your mat. And then take a big stretch, reach the arms overhead, keep the legs as they are, and just wiggle out of the hips. Just move into the side body, little tiny side stretches. Good, and then settle back into your T pose, reaching the arms out. This time we're gonna lift up the hips, move them over to the left side of the mat, and then let your knees fall to the right. Good, we're gonna hold it here three breaths before we move. One more deep breath in and out. Good, with your next inhale, let's bring that left arm over the body like a rainbow connecting it with the right hand and then reaching it all the way up and over. Good, two more times over the body like a rainbow and then back over, resting the whole arm down. One more time, up and over. And then open. This time we're gonna hold it here, three breaths. Option to look to your left hand. Good, really nice. Bring your head back to center. Bring your legs back to center. Realign the spine down the middle of the mat and then draw your knees into your chest. Roll up into that tiny little ball. And then rock and roll yourself all the way up to a seat. We're gonna pause here before we make our way into our tabletop. Make sure you're in a comfortable cross-legged seated position. And then from here, we're gonna take the left hand down to the floor, reach the right arm up and overhead. A nice little side stretch. Draw the right knee down towards the mat and then reach your right fingertips away. Good, really nice. Come all the way up and over, plant the right hand down, lift the left arm up, side stretch. This time, left knee drawing down towards the floor. Good, really nice yogi. Bring yourself all the way up and then bring yourself into your tabletop position. Good, from your tabletop, let's move through our cat cows, just bringing some more mobility into the spine. So we're gonna take an inhale, drop the belly down, chest and gaze, come forward. And then exhale, round through the back. Push the floor away from you. Inhale, drop the belly, heart and gaze forward. But really nice, exhale round. Let's do three more, just like this. Mindful movement, bringing particular attention to the 33 vertebrae in the spine. Good. After your next round, come to a neutral tabletop, everything back to center. We're gonna take the left arm out to the side, palm faces down. Beautiful. And we're gonna take an inhale, reach the arm up. Good. Take an exhale, weave that arm under the body, hover it over your mat, reach as far as you can to the right. And then take an inhale, come all the way back up, rotating through the spine. Beautiful, weave it under the body. And then inhale, reach up. Good, really nice. Again, 
under the body. Feeling this rotation happen through the midsection of the butt. Last one, under we go. Inhale it up. Good, now this time reach under the body and then drop that arm down, stay here. Maybe lower the head and then maybe reach that right arm forward towards the top of your mat. Good, if you're feeling a little adventurous today, stretch out that right leg laterally. And then just bring a little bit more space into the lower body while we're here. Lots happening, lots, we're moving in many directions right now. Just breathe into these spaces. Good. If you'd like to take it a little bit deeper for your last two breaths, take that right hand, bring it on top of your left hand, and then weave your fingers together. Now release just the right fingertips, keep the left hand bound around your right hand, and then twist the heart open, feeling that gentle pull into the spine, into all of your postural muscles. Good, a gentle release out. Take that right hand flat to your mat and then bring yourself back up into your tabletop position. Good, really nice. Let's do the right side this time. Take your right arm out lateral, palm faces down, and then we're gonna take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, weave it under the body, hover over your mat, reach to the left, and then inhale, come up. Good, exhale it under the body. And then inhale it up. Good, three more. On the third round, we rest into this twist. Good, next time you reach up, we're gonna prepare to drop that right arm under the body weaving it as far as we can go, dropping down onto the shoulder, stretching that left arm forward, peeking underneath that left arm, and then an option here to stretch out the left leg lateral. Yeah, very nice. Breathing into this twist. And if you'd like to take it a little bit deeper, take your left hand, bring it on top of your right. And then interlace the fingers and then release the left finger. So now the left fingertips are tented on the floor. And then roll that left shoulder back a little bit, opening up, feeling that stretch intensify, open and release anything we're holding on to here. One more breath. Really nice. Soften out, bring your left hand down, press yourself all the way back up to your tabletop and then bring your knees back under the hips. And then just wiggle the hips side to side. Wiggle the shoulders. And then tuck your toes and send your hips back into a downward facing dog. Good, from your downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, walk out the body, make any movements you need to in order to bring more space into the side body, into the legs. You can stretch a leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Whatever you feel like you need here, call it in. Another two breaths. Good. And then from here, let's take an inhale, glide forward into our plank pose. And then lower all the way down to the belly, one strong line. Good, untuck the toes, lift up into your cobra pose. 
Just taking the heart and the ribs away from the mat. Good. And then exhale, lower down. And then let's send our hips back to the heels, child's pose. Take three breaths in your child's pose. <clears throat> And then start to walk your hands back towards your knees. Finding ourselves in a nice kneeling position here. We're going to take the left hand down, reach the right arm up and overhead. Side stretch number two. Good option to bring those hips off of your heels and over to the right side of your mat opening up even deeper. Good, really nice. And then take that right hand down, help your hips back onto the heels if you've fallen off, and then take the left arm up and overhead, side stretch here. See how you feel, and if you'd like to take it deeper, slide off and over to the left. <clears throat> Good, take the left hand down this time and then bring yourself back onto the heels. Take your hands behind your back, fingertips pointing towards your toes. And then we're going to lift up off of the heels, send everything forward, stretch out that front body. Looking up to the sky or dropping the head back, looking behind you. Good, bring your chin back to your chest, come back to center, walk your hands forward, and then lift yourself up into your downward facing dog. Good, from your downward facing dog, let's step the right foot forward and lower the left knee down. Walk up onto the right knee. Awesome. And then from here, we're going to take the left hand and bring it outside of the right knee, right hand to lower back, twist. And if you're interested in taking this a little further, reach that left arm up to the sky and then reach back behind you, intensifying that stretch into your psoas and that gentle rotation into the spine. Good, take the left hand back down to the knee. Revolve yourself around. Good, reach both arms up to the sky this time. And then we're going to just take that left foot and draw it in towards the glute. Just lift it up, see what happens. Nothing may happen and that's okay too. Option here to take the left hand back to left foot. Just kind of hold it in place. Yeah, nice. And then take the right thumb right to your sternum, hand at heart center, half Anjali Mudra. Good, and just breathe into that left leg. One more breath. Soften out, release. Let your left toes meet your mat. Left hand meets your mat. Lift up, twist open to the right, reach your right arm to the sky. Good, take your right hand down to the floor. Step your right foot back. Lower all the way down to your belly, one strong line. Untuck your toes, lift up your heart, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Send your hips back, child's pose. Good, take three breaths here. Now you have the option to walk your hands back to your knees, bringing yourself back upright to take your hands back behind you, go where we just were, or come up to a kneeling position and come into your camel pose. 
So I'm gonna leave this up to Yogi's choice. So you can come back, fingertips pointing towards toes, lift up, we've already been there, or fingertips pointing down towards your bum, elbows draw together, press down, send the hips forward, and then lean the heart up to the sky, dropping the head back, staying here, three breaths. Awesome, slowly bring your chin to your chest wherever you are, release down, good, walk yourself forward, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, and then this time we're going to step the left foot forward, coming into your low lunge, sweep the arms up once you're there. And then take your right hand outside of left knee, left hand to lower back as you twist. Good, really nice. And then option to take this deeper by reaching the right arm up to the sky and then reaching back behind you. Good. Feel that opening into the right hip. Take your right hand back to your left knee. Bring yourself back to center. Rotate back to center, both hands here this time. And now let's start to kick that right foot back towards the glutes. Feel that hamstring work for you. And then option to reach the right hand back. Good. Option to either reach left arm to the sky or take your left thumb to your sternum. Yes, good, really nice. Breathing here into that right hip. Last breath. Soften out, release. Take your right hand down to the floor, lift up that back knee and then twist open to the left, reach your left arm high. Yeah. Good, really nice here, breathing into that twist. And then take the left hand down, step your left foot back. Lower all the way down to your belly. This time, let's untuck the toes, bring your hands beside the body, palms face in, and then lift everything up, arms, legs, feet, chest, breathing into the beautiful Shalambhasana, heart opener, big back bend, Breathing for three, for two, and for one. Release, let it all go. Breathe in, breathe out here, and then lift up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Really nice. Let's come high onto our tippy toes, bend the knees, and hop through to a seat. Once you land, take your feet flat to the mat. And we're going to <clears throat> cross your right ankle over your left knee. Good, so uh, the distance from your left heel and hip, if you need more room, take that foot away. If you're in and you would like a little bit more of a stretch, draw that foot closer. Okay, so let's bring our hands fairly close to the hips, fingertips pointing towards the body. And we're gonna lift up the chest here and make sure the hips stay grounded onto the mats. Good, and then see here if you can take that left foot in just a micro millimeter closer, feeling that stretch into the right hip. Good, and then from here, we're gonna walk down onto the forearms. Good, and then we're gonna lower all the way down onto the back. And then draw that left knee in towards left shoulder. And then instead of going through the legs, we're gonna go around the legs today. So we're gonna go around this structure. So your right foot comes into the eye of left elbow, and then your right knee is into the eye of your right elbow. 
Right. And then breathing here, like you're giving yourself a great big bear hug. Good, last breath here. Gently release the left foot back down to the floor. And then we're going to bring ourselves back up. So walking to the forearms. All right, maybe ease that left foot away from the body. Walk up onto the hands. Awesome. And now we're going to take that left foot and then cross it in front. So now the right leg comes on top. So instead of crisscross, that right leg is going to be on top of the left. So we have, it's like fire logs. This is a fire log pose. So right leg is on top of the left leg. Just like in our figure four, we just took that left leg and brought it down to the mat so our right leg could rest on top. This is another deep hip opener. We're, Wherever you are, cross-legged or in fire log pose, you're gonna walk forward over your crossed legs. Good, just coming down as far as you are able to. Good, really nice. And then just breathing into both hips here. Sending your love, sending your energy to the hips letting them know it's okay to release and let go of anything they're holding on to. And then walking up onto the hands and then gently releasing the left leg out, releasing the right leg out, and then kind of just shaking out the legs, shake out the legs. All right, and then we're gonna slide the feet flat once again, and then come into the other side. So left ankle over right knee. Make sure you have a good um, barometer of the left side. And then we're going to slowly lower down. So coming to the forearms, and then coming down onto the back. And then drawing that right knee in towards the body, and then wrapping the arms around the legs. Breathing into that left hip, left glute. Two more breaths here. Go ahead, a gentle release out by lowering your right foot down. Maintaining the structure of the legs, we're gonna walk ourselves back up, find the forearms. Good, and then from the forearms, find the hands. Awesome, and now we're gonna pick up that right foot and then just cross it in front and then bring it right underneath the left leg. From here, you'll take the hands down in front of you and then walk forward any amount over the left leg this time. Whatever comes up for you on the left side, know that it's okay to release. Acknowledge it, feel it, and let it go. Anything in our body that we're holding energetically, uh, past emotion and memory, we must first feel it to heal it. So this is part of our yoga practice. It brings up everything in our body that we need to feel, to heal, to then let go. Walk yourself up to your hands. Take your hands behind your back, gently release the legs, and then just give them a little shake. Let them go. Say thank you to the legs, to the hamstrings. 
You give them a little rub all the way down to the ankles and to the hips. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, we're gonna shimmy down onto our back body. Good, and then from here, we're gonna take the legs together, cross your right leg all the way over your left, and then move your hips over to the right side of the mat. Open your arms into a cactus this time, so T, arms are straight, bend at the elbows here, and then let your legs lower over to the left side of your mat. Once you're there, press into the back of your head, lift up your shoulders and shimmy that upper body so the heart faces the sky and ideally we're ha we have both of our shoulders connected to the floor here feeling this into the outside of right hip maybe even a touch into the lower back take three more breaths here Good, with your next breath, gently begin to heel toe that left foot to bring your legs back to center. Realign the hips at center, uncross your right leg. Good, give a little shake of the leg side to side. And then coming into the final posture here, legs come together once again, left leg over right. Move your hips to the left side of your mat, and then let your knees fall to the right. Once they've fallen as far as they can, press into the back of the head, shimmy the shoulders. Feel both of those shoulders connected to the earth and breathe. Good, right after your next breath, gently bring everything back to center. Realign your spine. And then this time we're going to take the legs nice and wide off the mat. Feet fall out to the sides, arms come beside the body, palms face up. Hands below the heart, please and thank you. We're just gonna feel our whole being relaxed into the space beneath us. And just gently feel as each part of your body from the ground up, from the bottom to the top, lets go, finds ease, brings space. Reminding ourselves that we are human being, not human doing. So it's important to take this time in our day and our life to be, to be present with our body, to be aware with our body. Yes, we are doing a practice. We are performing a practice. But in that practice, we are focused on the breath, which grounds us into the present moment, which allows us to just be here now. practicing as much as you're as much as you can in the being category bringing some balance between being and doing 
Whatever you do, do it with love. And however you be, be there fully. When the moment is right, I'll bring you back. Taking three deep breaths where you are. And then at the end of your third breath, you'll start to bring some movement back to your body. And then you'll gently bring one knee at a time into your chest. And then wrap your arms around your legs, roll up into a tiny little ball. Give yourself one more hug before you venture out into this world. Self-love, send yourself gratitude. Remind yourself of those three things that you love about yourself and bring those three things forward into your day today. And then when you're ready, rock or roll yourself into a seated position. Good, one more breath together. A nice big inhale as you reach up together energy. And then an exhale as you pull that energy into your heart. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Be well. Go in peace. Namaste.